The significance is uh, to, to pick up the morale, first of all, of the people on, on the Moshav um, who have been obviously going through such a hard time and uh, we couldn't think of a better way to do it than a, a show like this with uh, all the greatest, so we're really excited. It's really a big honor. I mean, Baruch Hashem, I have a lot of friends uh, who live in the Moshav and they're always giving and always giving and giving to all of us and here we have a chance to give back to them it's very beautiful and we should support them and give them a lot of love the feeling this evening is that music is probably something that a lot of the people who grew up on the Moshav um, feel very close to um, a lot of artists on the Moshav not just musicians, painters, pottery um, essential oils, you name it, it was all there. And um, art is a beautiful way to kind of connect to the wider community. And when we think about Moshav Modim, we think about music. Definitely, that's the essence of the Moshav. Obviously, it was founded by Rabbi Shlomo Karlibach, one of the most famous uh, Jewish uh, songwriters of today. And uh, so, obviously, this would be the best way to pick up the morale. Two days after the fire, I went to Yad Ben Yamin to see some of the Chevra, and one of the guys says to me, everybody, what an outpouring of Chesed, Goy Echad Ba'aretz, that's what Am Yisrael is, Goy Echad Ba'aretz. There's so much love and support from uh, so many people uh, just uh, helping out, and uh, it really, really helps, obviously the situation is not the best situation, uh, you know, people are homeless, but we're day by day, we're taking it day by day. It's not me, my message, the message we learned from Shlomo. He had a dream that he wanted to get a place, find a place in the world, where people really worked on each other, worked on loving each other and getting on with each other. You know, and finding a play, way to get there, you know, and make it happen, somehow make it happen. Unfortunately, a month ago, a lot of people lost their entire lives and everything they owned and um, on the one hand people have been incredible and reached out and organizations and Am Yisrael and the Christian uh, organizations and, and all, all kinds of people have stepped forward. Um, on the other hand, you know, as someone who lives here, who, you know, we're all citizens, and all that stuff and, and we want to know what's going on in terms of the future, you know, where are we going to be able to live. And uh, I think this is a beautiful way of kind of just not forgetting all of that, but sort of rising above all of it for a greater cause, and hopefully the message will get out there, and um, they will they will restore and rebuild the most beautiful, awesome mashav in the universe. Oh